Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my next update for my Pan That Palette 2019 ABH subculture. Thankfully, I am keeping my streak strong, and I've once again finished another shade. I have not hit pan on a new shade, but I have expanded the pan in a few pans that I already had pan in. If you want to, like, die, take a shot every time I say pan. Ugh, why do a drinking game when you can just die? <laughs> so before I go into the details of this update, let's go ahead and run the footage of all of my past updates. And this is my palette now. Ho, ho, ho. Look, we totally finished up Rowdy. Rowdy is gone. And I was able to expand the pan huge, hugely. Can I use words? I expanded the pan in Mercury right up here because since I ran out of Rowdy, I was looking for another shade that I could use in my eyebrows. And while it's not like the best shade, like it still works in my eyebrows. It's not as dark as I would personally like for my eyebrows, but it's, it's definitely workable. And it's definitely something I can do or go to day after day, which is what I've been using practically every day since I ran out of Rowdy. And it's helped a lot. Look at all that pan in there. I've also managed to expand the pan a lot since my last update in New Wave. I've been using uh, Edge and New Wave in my favorite, like, uh, yellowy kind of warm look. And then my go-to neutral look. Whenever I do a neutral look, except for today, I'll explain that a little bit later. But my go-to neutral look has been to use Adorn in the crease and in the transition. And then to use Fudge just to deepen it out. And then I go in with a different shimmer all over the lid. Uh, recently I've been trying out these new CoverGirl liquid shadows that I've been using. I also love to use the Stila Glitter and Glows. Those are also a really good uh, liquid shadow to use. I've also been trying to use more of my, my individual like shimmers, individual like shadows. So I've been actually doing pretty well because uh, that's something I can throw on really quickly. And no matter what I do, once I do these neutral colors, I can just throw anything on the lid and be good for work, which is great for me. I honestly haven't really made any more progress in the pan size of Destiny or Roxy. Um, I've been using Roxy a little bit, but really like Roxy and like All Star, those are like fall colors to me. Like I want to do like some nice smoky cranberry looks. Once we're in the midst of fall, I know the pumpkin spice latte is now out and that is the official signifier of fall but I need the weather to get a little bit colder and I think that's gonna be my next go-to look once I finish either uh, Edge and New Wave or when I finish Fudge and uh, Adorn. Other than that, I am still <laughs> not really using Untamed or Axis. They look practically untouched. So I am, I gotta say, like being honest, I'm impressed with my progress so far. I think it really helps that I found another shade I can use in my eyebrows. I am wearing mercury in my eyebrows today. It does look a little lighter than I would personally like, but it's good to try th like new things. Like I've actually been having fun experimenting with different things that are like kind of a rut in my routine. I might do a video about that, but I've been using mercury like that. And I honestly think I could... I don't know if I can finish it by the next update, but I can make some progress by the next update in Mercury. I really want to hit the top of the pan in Adorn by my next update because I actually, so this upcoming month, September, I have two work trips. One, I'll be taking trains to go to. It'll be overnight, maybe two nights. And the other one, I'm actually flying across the country <laughs> to go to. So it'll be couple of trips. I think the one where I take the train, I'll take this palette with me. I'm afraid to bring this on a plane, like if that makes sense, because I, I, it's so fragile. I'm afraid it's going to break. I would maybe consider bringing this in my carry-on, but I, I don't think so. 
So in September, I've got those two trips. I might bring them for the one, but I have to leave it at home for the one where I'm flying. And then in October, the whole first week of October, I'll actually be going on vacation. Uh, my boyfriend and I were going to DC, and I'm planning to pre-film around that, so you'll still have the regular like Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos. I'm thinking about vlogging. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do it down there, but I'm definitely gonna take like some footage of, you know, the monuments and everything, because I used to live down there. I love DC. My boyfriend only went like once when he was a kid, so it's, it's gonna be fun. Um, so for that trip, I can definitely bring this palette. Why did I show the mirror? I can definitely bring this palette because we're gonna be driving down there. So I can just package this up all nicely, put it in the back seat, and we're good because we're gonna be driving down to DC. So that's kind of how like my September and October are planned out. I've got, I've got a lot of traveling and a lot of things to do. I'm very excited for it, but it's gonna be a lot. So even though it's gonna be like all fun things and all really good work things, it's gonna be a lot. So just giving you a bit of a warning for what September and October may look like. That being said, I really think like this neutral look with adorn and fudge can really help me when I'm like at the conference, like down in early September, because that's a quick look I can do. I'm also about to start another uh, project pan with a good friend of mine. So that's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I'm not actually wearing anything from Subculture today because I'm wearing the majority of the new project pan products. So by the time this update is up, I will have the intro for that project pan. It's called the Lust for Lux project pan. I'll throw a link up in the cards if you guys wanna follow a Along with that project as well. It is a six month project, so it'll be going from September 1st all the way until March 1st. So, that being said, I know that there are some neutral shades in the palette that I want to like hit some pan on for that project, but I am going to be focusing on this project first and foremost since it is my pan that palette for 2019. And I think, I, I mean, honestly, I don't want to jinx anything, knock on wood. I think I'm on a good track to finish this by December. So hoping to keep all of that uh, good motivation, all of this good like movement and progress and just keep going. Cause I know these next two months are gonna be the hardest since I'm gonna be traveling so much and since I'm gonna be so busy, it's gonna be a bit difficult to focus on my projects. So that is everything for this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know like just down below in the comments if you do want to see anything about my trips that I'll be taking over the next month or so uh like any vlogs because I did do I've done one vlog it was my trip to Harry Potter World that was also, that was also a work trip where I stayed an extra day and I went to Harry Potter World I had a lot of fun doing that so if you guys want to see something similar to that for like my DC trip or I don't know how my trips for work will be but I could think about like doing some vlogging around the edges I don't know but if you guys are interested let me know down below I would love to do a little bit more different things on this channel I've been experimenting with different video types so let me know what you guys would like to see too and as we know it is September now so let me know down below how your pan that palette is going if you have one because we're getting into the home stretch we're getting into like fall my favorite we're getting into the holidays so we're, we're getting towards the end if you are doing the traditional calendar year pan that palette thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye